This is the best offense to use in Madden 24. Break yourself, fool! It has hard to stop run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And one play touchdowns to score versus any defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this. Stick around after the intro. I want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my New Orleans Saints and Multi Deep Defensive ebooks. If you guys need more help on offense or defense, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly just by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. I'm going to be rocking with my Philadelphia Eagles once again, but if you guys want to see me use a new team, let me know in the comment section as always, and I will start to use some of you guys' suggestions. I start this game out on defense. I'm going to be using my brand new 3 for odd defense that I recently made a video about, but I'm going to be focusing mostly on offense in this video today. So if you guys want to see more about this defense, I will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The game starts off good as I get my opponent to a quick 4th and 5 from his own 36, but he barely picks up the first, and from here I don't get close to stopping him again. As he stretches me out on the next play for a big carry before hitting Justin Jefferson with an absolute dot to get inside the red zone. From here he tries to run a- Oh no you don't! But we close the door on back-to-back -back plays before my CPU middle linebacker just sits there. What? Which team do you play for? Before my opponent goes for two, and I'm thinking we're going to have a tight game here. The offense I'm going to be using once again is my gun stack Y flex offense, which was one of my favorite offenses to use last year as well. Only this year, it's only in the Saints playbook, meaning you won't run into this very much online. My four play audible setup has also changed as the defenses in this game react very differently and require some new setups. My first audible and still my most used dink and dunk play is going to be the drive H wheel. It's a bit nerfed this year, but it's still very effective. It's also no longer a cover three one play touchdown, but it still works against cover zero and cover one. So it's good for that. The second play is the inside zone is it's really the only run play that I need even though they also have a halfback quick base in this offense. The third play is the Z spot as this is my one play touchdown for cover three now since they patched the fade out from last year. And my last play is the PA read which is my one play touchdown against every single defense in the game except cover three. My fifth play can change a lot but I usually choose between the fade out which is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses as well. But I still like to call the Y sale which was my fifth play last year because it still has a lot of good dink and dunk options against man or zone. So it really doesn't matter what defense my opponent is in. When I come the line of scrimmage though his defense looks pretty solid as i don't immediately see any weaknesses to attack so i switch to the inside zone but there's nothing there i see he comes out in a light box in the next play so i try to run again and gain a yard this time on third and long now, I see an obvious cover zero. I have four different one play touchdowns against this defense this year in my ebooks, but the drive H wheel is the only one of on my audibles. So I switch to that. I could just try for the running back in the flats as that route usually gets wide open and is a good catch and run. It'll probably give me the first, but I decided to go for the whole thing. And all you have to do for this play to work this year is put the X receiver on a streak and that's it. But I also put the running back on a check and release because this is the best way to basically have a blocker and somebody that will hold the man defender and prevent them from becoming a middle high safety, which can really mess up the play. After that, you're just watching for the cornerback covering the corner route to get in the way of the cornerback covering the streak. Break yourself, fool! I have to go for two, and this time I use the running back because this route is pretty much unstoppable from here. And I'm thinking that this is about to be a really competitive game. You sure about that? In my next game, we have a division rival in my new look New York Giants, as this is the first game playing against them with Darren Waller, a tight end. I start this game out on defense once again as he tries to bulk up and pound the rock with Saquon Barkley in the first play before the pocket absolutely collapses on the next one. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Now it's third and forever and he tries to pass again, only this time that strip specialist comes up huge. <laughs> As Hassan Reddick forces another sack fumble and Brandon Graham recovers it for an instant touchdown. After that, he decides to run the ball, but this run defense is just as shut down. How about new? As we are only pushing this team backwards at this point, he beats me on a quick out on the next play to get to third and short before hitting a quick slant to pick up the first down. On the next play, he calls a route to the tight end that would have beat man if the pressure didn't get in so fast. On second and 20, he goes back to running the ball, but it's too late now as we get him to a third and 12. Ah! 
and he gets dropped before he can even play action fake. This offense has a lot of explosive pass plays and won't play touchdowns in it, but also has the ability to be a methodical high percentage dink and dunk offense if you make the right reads. If your opponent ever comes out in a small defense like this, just switch to the inside zone and take the easy yards on the ground. I call a hurry up on the next play so that I can keep him in this and run it again so I can guarantee that first. I try again on the next play, but he starts packing the box now, so on the next play, since he's in an off zone, I switch to the Y sale, which is probably the best for short throws, as this table route to the running back is open underneath any zone coverage. And I use that to get another first down before I go back to the huddle to let Swift catch his breath. I use the sail play again on the next play, only this time I hit the zig route on the other side of the field so I don't get too predictable. On the next play, I read Manzer Blitz one more time, so I switch to the drive age wheel as this swing route to the running back beats any man coverage as long as you throw it out right away, while the table route I used earlier from the Y sail play only beats zone. And I probably would have scored if I wasn't doing too much. From here I read zone again, so I go back to the Y sail play one more time because the sail route that the tight end is running beats both man and zone underneath the B route. Back on defense, we're hitting everything that moves as this blitz is just burying Danny Dimes on back-to-back -back sacks to fourth another, third, and forever. From here, I'm thinking he has to pass, so I set up my blitz, guess pass, and boom, dude runs the ball. And since I guess pass and I was wrong, now all of my defenders are slower and more easily blocked as he walks in for the score to make it a ball game. Now on offense, I try to run the ball against his weak box, but I get shut down by a huge user shed. Then on the next play, the game starts screwing me as it won't let me hike the ball until I get a penalty. I see he's in cover three, so I try to find my cover three one play touchdown to fade out, but it's not here for some reason. Like it's in this playbook, but for some reason it's totally missing. So in my panic, I decide to switch offenses entirely to the middle high low from the gun empty base flex. When I make my pre-snap read, I see that the cornerbacks are at our different depths, meaning that he's in a cover six of some kind, so I flip the play to attack the cover two side, where the cornerback is closer to the line of scrimmage. I motion across the tight end, put him on a streak, and put the X route on a smoke to hold the cornerback down. Break yourself, fool! He could go all the way! And I'm thinking that's halftime before my opponent hits a big streak right up the seam of my cover four to get in the field goal range before we get another sack to almost knock him out of it. <laughs> almost. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. At the start of the second half, I try to run the gun empty base flex QB draw a few times, but it looks like it's been nerfed, so it gets me into a quick fourth and five that I decide to go for. On the next play, he comes out in a cover two, plays the drag, but I barely get it over his head for the first. From here, my offense is really just alternating between the inside zone and the wheel route from the drive H wheel until I get inside the 20 before he finally makes an adjustment for it. So I try to go to the speed out route on the other side, which is also supposed to be man. <laughs> Only this time, the first round rookie Deontay Banks jumps the route and takes it all the way for the score. He tries to go for two to get within a field goal, but that's not happening. Sit your ass down! But now we have ourselves a ball game with the entire fourth quarter to play. I want to score fast, but I also have to stick to my reads, so when I see a light box once again, I am going to run, because these are very high percentage reads. On the next play, I see zone, so I throw it to the running back again in the flats and almost get another first. I see he's in cover four quarters, which is a very good run defense, but not a very good pass defense, especially against deep pass plays. So since it's second and one and I can always get that yard later, I decide to take a shot from here with the PA read play. All you have to do is put the Y route on a fade and and the X post route is a one play touchdown against every defense in the game except cover three. So it doesn't really matter that I made a poor read since it was actually cover two. Now that he's back to passing, we let the dogs out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And knock him back to a fourth and 19 that he needs to make or this is game over. He does complete the pass, but... So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more about the defense I was running in this gameplay that was absolutely dominating, I will have links popping up on screen right now. So if you want to see that, just click the links because I'm sure it'll help out your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.